In what was perhaps one of his less insane suggestions since taking office, Donald Trump has asked the SEC to consider scrapping quarterly financial reporting for America's public listed corporations because it encourages too much short-term thinking and focus on immediate profits at the expense of investing for long-term growth. But the president's intuition is, you know, we need, it, you know, short-termism is maybe a problem in our right. economy and we need to have a longer perspective. And at the same time, if we do that and reduce regulatory costs, then, then why not? In investing circles, it's a hotly debated topic. It's even drawn an Instagram post from CIMB chairman Dato Sri Nazir Azhar, who has openly supported such a move. Seen from his perspective as the chair of a large listed bank, it's easy to see why he agrees. Malaysia, like America, requires her PLCs to report any material factors that might affect earnings and revenue every three months while providing some guidance on future performance. But listed companies say compliance takes up too much time and company resources. Studies show that in some cases they even encourage extreme risk taking to meet quarterly financial targets, which of course is true, especially among US banks from a decade ago who deviated from their traditional business of deposit taking and lending and focused instead on derivatives, mergers and acquisitions, which were much more lucrative but also hugely more risky, which as we all know by now, triggered the collapse of the global financial system. Quarterly reporting also equates to a lot more scrutiny of management's decision-making, corporate behaviour and staff culture, which is a key reason why a lot of companies refuse to list their shares. As Nazir suggests, banishing quarterly reporting will result in less short-termism and encourage more entrepreneurs and unicorns to go public. Unicorns, of course, being the tech world's way of describing a company with a valuation of a billion dollars and upwards. But you know what? Nazir's got a point. Entrepreneurs, especially of the internet kind, are reluctant participants in the disclosure game, occasionally having their run-ins with Wall Street. Just ask Tesla's Elon Musk, whose life is dissolving in a very public way right now, which might never have happened had he kept Tesla and its, of course, highly ambitious deadlines private. In fact, such scrutiny is one of the reasons why many large and private internet companies are reluctant to IPO. So is Nazir right in saying that half-yearly disclosures are good enough because it allows management more time to focus on operations? Well, it depends. It depends on how disciplined company founders can be. Do you know what, right? My first response to Trump's proposal was one of support, but upon closer scrutiny on the balance of it all, it's probably not a good idea for Malaysia. Yet, lest we forget, our capital markets are a lot younger and less developed than America's. If we really are to consider banishing quarterly reporting, we must do so being fully aware of the consequences of leaving investors in an information vacuum that could equate to company data being as long as half a year or more old. How then are informed decisions like buying, holding or selling to be made? And by allowing more power to vest in the hands of company founders, the potential for abuse suddenly becomes much more acute. As research from Ernst & Young shows, some 85% of Asia's large private businesses are family owned. And this study also points out that in the presence of a high level of family ownership, the negative effects of related party transactions are likely to be much more substantial. Also, this proposal comes at a time when Asian stock exchanges seem to be leaning in favour of generating more business at the expense of investor protection. Hong Kong and Singapore, two jurisdictions that offer companies the choice of reporting semi-annually or quarterly, depending on certain financial criteria, have also recently allowed dual-class share structure which basically allows majority owners immunity over the decisions they make on the basis that they know best. And of course to hopefully attract unicorns like Grab and Ant Financial to list on their markets instead of in America. And so in the balance of it all, let's keep quarterly reporting the way it is. Small investors really don't have all that much by way of savings, so let's not threaten their retirements any more than we have to. Just saying.